Hello and welcome to another GCSE Computer Science video on programming techniques with me, Mr. Goff, from MrGoff.com. Today's video will focus on validation and authentication methods. Validation is about checking that data you receive from the user could be valid data. There are a number of different ways you might check that a user's data is valid. These include a presence check, a type check, a range check, a length check, and a format check. A presence check is when we make sure that the user has entered something. This is commonly seen in web forms for fields that must be complete for the form to be valid. A type check is when we check that the user has entered something with a valid data type. This can help to prevent errors by checking that a numeric value was entered before trying to perform a calculation with it. A range check allows us to specify an acceptable range for a numeric value that's being entered. This can prevent accidental mistyping, such as putting in an extra zero that isn't expected. A length check lets us check how many characters were entered by the user. This is commonly used in web forms for fields that have minimum or maximum lengths, like usernames and passwords. A format check checks that the user has entered a value in an acceptable format. It's particularly useful for things like dates and postcodes, but can also check things like emails to make sure that they contain an at symbol and a dot. We can use regular expressions to implement more complex format checks. Verification is different to validation. It is when we check that the data entered is actually correct. You will have seen examples of this in web forms when you're asked to enter something twice, such as your email address, to make sure you haven't made an error when entering it the first time. This is normally because to recover your password will require that email address, so if it had an error, your account would be lost forever if they couldn't contact you. Authentication routines are measures used to ensure a person is who they say they are. In a computer network, we generally use a system of usernames and passwords. Increasingly, however, computers and other electronic devices are relying on biometrics to lock and unlock the devices. Biometrics refers to the measurement and analysis of people's physical and behavioral characteristics. Some biometric methods that are being used for authentication include facial recognition, voice print ID, and fingerprint scanners. That brings us to the end of this video on verification and authentication methods. I've been Mr. Goff for MrGoff.com. I hope you'll join me again soon for another video on determining the purpose of algorithms. Bye for now.